so superior. Like the security was so much easier and more efficient. The check-in was so much easier and more efficient. Like our bag, our bags were overweight. They didn't care. Like no one yelled at us. They were nice. Like we're at the airport and we're literally outside in line for Starbucks. Like I've never been in such like a pleasant mood at the airport. Like literally nothing bad has happened. No TSA people have yelled at me. Everything has just been like quick and efficient and relaxed. And I didn't have to take my shoes off. Like why can't it be like this in America? Why? Just two European gills. Mm -hmm. or the taxi driver just literally dropped us off on the side of the freaking road. But like, look at this view. Whew. She's stunning. She's but yeah, now we have to go up this hill with our bags to get inside. <laughs> oh yeah. just checked out for the afternoon yesterday and didn't vlog once we got to Tarmina because we just like met up with some friends who we are staying with in this little Airbnb and we just went out and had a good time and I didn't vlog a thing so um, I just woke up and I'm gonna give you guys a little walkthrough of our Airbnb that we're staying in because it is so stunning and I'm just so excited. stairs heading to the beach with Delaney and Clayton hello hello and hello. we just had some orange chinis and cookies on the side of the road <laughs> gas station, <laughs> station orange chinis um, and we're walking down the staircase path to go ahead to the beach for a couple hours before we have like the welcome drinks for the wedding night got back from the beach and showered quickly 
I'm literally vlogging while getting ready because we're on a bit of a time crunch because we just like lost track of time at the beach. But um, we are currently getting ready. Hi, Blakey. Hi. Currently getting ready for the like, kind of like welcome drinks cocktail party before the wedding. The beach was like so nice. We actually went to a different part of the beach that I hadn't been to before and it was just like so cute and European. And then we took the little cable car back up and getting ready right now. I wanna try and get a pic in my dress before dinner because I really like my outfit. So um, that's why I'm lotioning while I vlog because I've gotta kill two birds with one stone. Okay, three I think. Um, here's a mirror because there are literally none in our freaking Airbnb. Literally none. This is what I'm wearing. Um, and it's the same company that made my dress for my birthday that I wore that I was obsessed with. And I am equally obsessed with this one. I literally want to get it in like all the colors. It's um, so cute. Um, Blake is helping me take a photo before we head out. And Delaney and Clayton are going to come meet up with us in a second. And yeah, there's like a little welcome drinks cocktail hour situation on the rooftop of a restaurant like kind of overlooking the little town square so that should be cute and i'm hoping that there's this little spot kind of like right outside of our airbnb hoping that that will work for a photo because i really want to get a photo on this tonight take a few moments to say welcome to Taumina. As many of you all know, Taumina is our home away from home and we couldn't think of a more fitting place to welcome Dean into our family and welcome you all here to celebrate our love for one another. Dean, you are my everything and I can't quite believe that with your kind soul, charming good looks and outstanding talent for DIY, you chose me <laughs> to call your wife. This is Delaney's gelato walk. <laughs> Speed <ball. laughs> With the ponytail. <laughs> yes. Hey, like, we got different. gelato. Where's Blake? We got pasta. We hit 15,000 steps. We're about to hit 15,000 steps. It is a freaking good day. It's a good day. It's a good day. It's a good day. No complaints. Cheers, friends. We're walking to get some brekkie before we have to get get started getting ready. I can't speak. Get start getting ready for the wedding. I literally cannot speak. Yeah, we're just trying to find somewhere because. They don't really have normal breakfast here. Everyone eats like pastries and hot coffee for breakfast. So it's a bit of a hot challenge coffee. to find some like fresh fruit or smoothies or not pastries, but it's okay. We're vibing. Okay, so we decided on a spa we're eating at this really famous place called Bambar that I actually, everyone told me I needed to eat here the last time I was in Tarmina, but it was like super busy. Um, and they're famous for this thing called a granita, which we discovered, we thought it was like ice cream. We thought everyone was eating ice cream for breakfast, but I guess it's like a blended like ice and fruit and sugar, and then you can get it with or without cream on top, so. So they're like a smoothie, right? A smoothie. Everyone said it like tastes like, just like you're eating cold fruit. So yeah. we ordered those, and apparently this is the best spot for them. And we're just gonna have a quick little breakfast here. The owner is actually so cute. He came over and he was asking us if we knew of his friend's restaurant in Beverly Hills. And it's Il Pasteo, which is like a super famous restaurant in Beverly Hills that we go to all the time. So that was cute. We're waiting on our granitas and then we have to like honestly hurry back and start getting ready because it's like 
12 already, and we have to be at the church for the wedding at 2.30. Grazie. Prego. Prego. Allora. Allora. Oh, yeah. Aspirate? Here. Grazie. Okay. The famous. Grazie. The famous granita. It's like a Starbucks frappuccino. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm almost ready. Blake just helped me do my hair. Um, if you guys can see, she gave me a cute little bun because I am like not good at that kind of fancy hairstyle. And now I'm gonna finish up my mascara and then get my dress on. Yeah, it doesn't start till three, but they told us to get there at 2.30. So we are currently heading to find a taxi for a little post-wedding beach day. They have, I think, something like set up at a beach club. So we're getting in a taxi because I guess it's far from like the tram and stuff. Ah, it's one party there today. Yes. hallucinated that it fell. I'm just letting you know. I'm not okay. We got home from the beach and showered and scrubbed off the tanner. Blake scrubbed off her tanner. I washed my hair, which was quite nice. And now we are just getting ready. And Delaney and Clayton moved to a hotel for the next two nights because they wanted to experience the vibes over there at the fancy hotel. And... That's them. No. Oh, okay. And now we're just getting ready and we're gonna go meet them for like drinks and dinner at their hotel. And that's the vibe. That's, that's the update. <laughs> that's the update. When there's always two different vibes going on with our outfits. With our outfits? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> well, I'm like, ready and you're not. Yeah. Well, I'm not ready ready. I'm just like outfit ready. Honestly, I only put this on because I was cold and I wanted to put pants on and I didn't bring any like sweatpants with me. You know what I struggle with? Mm. Like this top, I love it. Mm -hmm. I got it from Fashion Pass, so I like rented it. Oh shit! Okay. Um, and I love it. Okay. And I like part of me wants to keep, keep it. it. You can keep things. Yeah. But then I'm like, 
Will I ever wear no, it again? I know. It's so like, fucking It's cute, hard when like, you love something, but it's like it's so like specific, and I'm not going to like take a photo and again. I'm going to take a photo in here, so then like... I think it would, like, for me, it would depend on the price of it. Yeah, that's true. Like, but if it was, it's like, for Love and Lemon, so it's probably... Exactly. Expensive. Like, if it was, like, under $50, I would keep no, it. No, yeah, like, yeah, 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 but it's, it's probably wasn't. not. Right, exactly. And they give it to you for a discount, but, like, yeah, it's just, like, where my struggle is, because it's, like, so fucking cute, and I want to keep it, but, like, right. would I ever wear this again? Probably not, because... I think you... I think that you would wear it again, but, like, you wouldn't wear it another time after Yeah, that. like, I'll wear it maybe twice. Yes. First world problems. Mm -hmm. For sure. Sarah? Yes. Bonus era. Yes. I was saying the same thing. I was saying bonus era. I was saying bonus era. Bonus era. Bonus era. Howdy, y'all. Bonus era. We can see your Cheers. Gracias. Cheers. Hi, hello. We just came to Delaney and Clayton's hotel room for breakfast and checked out their stunning view. And now we're going to have a, like an hour or so by the pool at their hotel. And then we have a boat day planned today, which I'm literally so excited for. The forecast actually said it was gonna rain and we texted the boat guy and he was like, no, 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 like I can basically like I can drive you to somewhere where it's not raining. So we're kind of like cheating the system a bit, I feel, which is pretty cool. But we just had a really good breakfast in the room and that's the plan for the day. I'm wearing this cute little For Love and Lemons dress. I'm very excited. It's everyone's last day together. It's very sad. Antonio. What doing? I think my nipple. <laughs> I'm sorry. What are you doing? <laughs> I was putting it up, you know, some cancer, but I didn't. I didn't do it correctly. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Hello. 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 This vlog is just getting like more and more sabotage as it goes on and I'm sorry <laughs> but basically now I'm vlogging on my phone because yesterday while we were on the boat we were sitting on the front of the boat I don't even know what it's called the bow <laughs> and basically the captain Clayton asked the captain to take us over to like a bay where he had been before and the captain was like, oh, the water's kind of rough over there. Like, I wasn't going to go over there unless you guys really want to. And Clayton was like, no, like, it won't be that rough. It'll be fine. And so we're sitting on the bow of the boat, and he's taking us over there, and the water starts to get super rough, and we're, like, going over all these waves. And the three of us are sitting there, and they're, like, kind of, like, splashing up about the, the tip of the boat. And all of a sudden, this giant wave crashes over us, like, literally up to our heads. And we were all holding like our phones and our cameras and everything got soaking wet. Like Clayton dropped his phone and it started like sliding off the front of the boat and almost went into the water. Like, and we were just soaking wet and like freaking out because at that point it was so rough that like we could barely hold on. And so we're all like gripping all of our electronics and like holding each other, like trying to stay put because it was too rough for us to even like get up and walk back inside. It was so sabotage. It ended up being fine. Obviously everything is fine, but RIP to the camera, which broke and so I'm no longer vlogging on the camera it was also Blake's camera because my camera broke the day before we were leaving for this trip so I was vlogging on Blake's camera which is now broken so we're down two cameras Michelle negative two world two is that how it works 
I don't freaking know. Michelle Zero World 2. But yeah, so that's why there was no vlog from yesterday because, or no vlog from the end of yesterday because we lost the camera. My phone also had liquid in it, but I'm pretty sure it's fixed now. It is Friday morning, I believe. Everyone left really early this morning. Delaney and Clayton flew to Madrid. They had to leave at like four o'clock in the morning. And then Blake left at like 8 a.m. And she's going back to L.A. because she has to be home for a wedding tomorrow. So I am on my own for the next few hours. But I wasn't ready to go home quite yet. So I actually have a friend that has been in Greece for the last like week or so. And so she is flying in today to meet me in Tyrmina. So she'll be here in a couple hours. And I'm super excited about that because... I don't really think I'm cut out for traveling alone. Like, I know it's so amazing and I know so many people do it, but I just don't think it's for me. I think I'm, like, spooked too easily and my whole life people have always loved to say to me, like, oh my god, you're so small. Someone could just, like, pick you up and carry you away. And I'm like, that doesn't sound fun to me. I'm laying out by the pool at our Airbnb right now and... I just can't get over this view. Like, no matter how many days I wake up and look at it, it's still the most beautiful thing I've ever seen and I'm just gonna have like a little day date to myself I would love to get some work done but our wi-fi has not been working at the airbnb for the last few days and I've been like going back and forth chatting with the host and he's not being very helpful and it sucks and the thing is like I could like cancel the rest of our like booking here and book somewhere else but that means that I have to like pack up my bags and drag them through the streets of Italy and this place has a stunning view and a pool. So I'm gonna try to go into town today and like find somewhere that I can at least hop on the Wi-Fi for a bit because there is some work that I'm literally not able to get done from my phone and I need to do it. I can't just like go MIA completely. Unfortunately, that's what happens when you work for yourself and you have your own business. I'm basically gonna go on a little day date today. I'm laying by the pool for a bit, gonna get some sun because I feel like I haven't like tanned since I've been here and I'm just like taking this view. And then I'll probably go get some food and I booked myself a massage at the hotel that Delaney and Clayton stayed at there last two nights. Um, so I'm gonna go get there and get a massage because like my back has just been hurting. I have lots of back issues. So I'm trying to get more massages in and then my friend gets in this afternoon. So then I won't be alone anymore, but I'm excited. I'm excited that I have a few more days here because it's such a small town and at first I thought like it would be boring after being here for like five days but I honestly just keep finding more to explore and it's just like so beautiful and so charming that I'm fine to stay here. So that's the update. I will try to be better at vlogging although I will say it's a lot harder on my phone for some reason. It's just like not as easy to like pull it out and hold it and whatnot even though I do always have it in my hand but I'm gonna try to be better at vlogging. And that's that. Okay, so remember yesterday when I said that I was gonna be better at vlogging? Yeah. And then I, um, it wasn't. It rained here. Um, Neela got in last night, my friend Neela's here. It started pouring rain about 20 minutes before she got here. And we, she got here and we immediately went to dinner, went, went to dinner to meet some friends and we're going through the streets and it's like literally inches of water like soaking wet like streets are flooding and we're just running through the streets and we were both wearing jeans they got soaked up to our knees and our shoes were our shoes were completely soaking wet like full of water like i was in the restaurant eating dinner with my feet just in like a pool of water so that was not fun and then we woke up this morning to like really really loud thunder and we checked the forecast and it just said thunderstorms every day for the next like 10 days. And we started freaking out thinking that we might need to like go somewhere else because we're not trying to be here for the next four days in rain. But look what just happened. By the grace of God. We manifested this and the sun came out. So I put on my cute Italy bikini that I have been saving for a cute Italy day. And we're about to go down to the beach at Isola Bella. And I'm going to get her some gnocchi first because she hasn't had... Oh, well, we had pasta last night. But we're going to get her some gnocchi first. Yeah. Um, and maybe an arancini. And then we're going to go down to the beach and have ourselves a day. Because we were literally looking at flights this morning. Like, we're like, okay, where can we fly? Like, we can't stay here in the rain. There's nothing to do in a small town in the rain. And now the sun is out because I fucking manifested that shit. So, <laughs> always follow your dreams. Watch it, darling.
has given me one. The dance when the sun comes out. <laughs> the sun dance. Nila Tequila in Cecilia. <laughs> started thundering and we are feeling a little dropless so I feel like it's about to pour on us again and we're running to the uh, like cable car so we can get up there before there's a super long line and it's pouring and we're wet again so beach day was cut short but I mean at least we made it we got the photos got the content just two girls caught in the rain again <laughs> Why does this keep happening to us? <laughs> Just got gelato before dinner because basically last night since it was pouring rain, all of the gelato places closed early. It was and very I think depressing. It was my first night without gelato and I was talking about it to Neela and then she didn't even get to have it. So we were like, let's not chance it tonight. Let's just get gelato before we even get dinner. Appetizer. A gelato appetizer. Appetit. You know? So now we're just walking with our gelato and then we're gonna go back to the restaurant that I've already been to twice because I need to take her obviously because it's the best pasta in town. And we're just like hoping it doesn't start raining again. We have umbrellas. That's all, that's all, that's all there is. That's all she wrote. Next course. <laughs> Why are you so stunning? I'm just gonna see this for now. Yeah. Well, what about my picture? Oh yeah, you want a picture? literally told me three days ago that we needed to have this bruschetta. Yes. Wow. Holy shit. Um, we just had lunch. We had some pizza and pasta and bruschetta. And it's like a beautiful sunny day. And now we decided that we need to go do some shopping because I told myself that I was gonna buy a present while I was in Europe and it's my last day here and I haven't bought myself anything so we're just walking around finding some good stores to shop at because I must leave with a souvenir oh my god literally my entire arm I love it <laughs> You can get yeah, these. but so even in winter, you can wear, you know, like short sleeves, uh, oh, how sweater. Cute. She <laughs> Do I wear it now? She's saying it feels looser. Yeah. Looser? Looser. Now it feels like looser. Looser because now you know it's a, a, the hair condition. Huh? Yeah. Now I've been inside. Like, tell, tell me. People. Because, uh, yeah, I feel like now it's too loose. If you want, no problem. I'll give you the. Can I try the, the 50, 50, 50? Can I just try the 51 again? 51. Let's because see. you know, you don't change in US. Currently at the airport, sitting at my crowded um, ignoring everyone's trying to because I'm walking in public. But uh, last night, after we went shopping, we just like, showered off and got ready for dinner and had one last dinner in Rome and then went home and like packed and went to bed um, and I got up super early this morning like 6 a.m. I couldn't even sleep the last hour before my alarm went off because I was so scared of missing it um, and I was worried because we had like arranged for our taxi driver that took us to our Airbnb from the airport to pick me back up again but we lost his phone number so I was just like going in line hoping he would remember and show up at our house in the morning and I didn't know if he actually would. So I literally didn't sleep the last hour before my alarm went off, but 
I got on a flight early this morning. I am currently on my layover, waiting to board my last flight back to LA. But yeah, I just wanted to wrap up the vlog here. I'm sorry if the last few days have been chaotic energy, um, but hopefully you guys got a good peek into my trip. And also I realized that I started this vlog off with so many lip updates and now that I've had some time, I'm like super happy with them and um, really happy with the decision and I love how they look, it's exactly what I was going for, I'm very subtle, so there's the update on the lips and yeah, I'm just really excited to get back home, I feel like, I think I told you guys about my Sabotage Miami sweatshirt that I bought in the Miami airport on the way to Europe because I forgot like a big sweatshirt that was freezing. I washed all of my clothes in the washer in Italy and they smell so gross from like whatever detergent or like sitting there for too long so like I just can't wait to get home and shower and all the things but they're calling last call for boarding now so I'm gonna go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you.